So, you're watching this video to hopefully learn how to set up and operate Wirecast on the computer. So, we'll begin with the basics on how to add camera shots. Um, so with a completely blank, you didn't see the image there, with the completely blank file, we're going to go here to the plus sign right here, click on it, go up to capture devices, and use our deck link mini recorder number two. If you have more than one, that's great, but we're just going to use this one. And you'll see, in shot, is the desk and stuff that we use to record our announcements. Now, some of the basics that we do is we remove the green behind the announcers. That way we can put in different backgrounds and everything. And how we do that is we click right here on the capture device. Come up here, click here, and this will bring up your chroma key properties. Just click the box, use chroma key, and for the most part it's all already set up for us but if you wanted to tinker with it you could use these sliders and the key threshold is basically how much of a certain color will it tolerate like right now we have it turned down it's taking the green out but not the blue hence why the wall is blue so we turn that up until it's black and if you're wearing green right now and if you were in there you'd pretty much be invisible so the black clip would if we turn that up it basically just negates what we just did it's it's useful when there's more than just this in there but right now it's it's mainly for fine-tuning your green screen cropping around your subjects so that's that now I'd say that this looks pretty boring not having anybody in have anything in front of them or behind them so we're gonna give them something to have behind them so we're gonna click on another plus sign below it it's important that you do it below it not beside it because these are like layers uh, this is your top layer and everything else is below so we go here and click on media file and since I did this last time it's already right here but you can go through on your computer and find any picture that you want that would work as a background and use it. So we're going to use Overview. We're going to open it and we have a lovely view of Toussaint. And say we wanted to get rid of that, we can. So we come here to our shot layer properties. Make sure that we're selected on the on the deck link MIDI recorder. Come down here to crop and move the left slider over and you'll see the little yellowish line signifying where it's actually getting the image from so we cut off where the outlet was cut the outlet is cut we can still see the image below but now we don't see the outlet if we were to go here and crop it would crop the image totally but we don't want that so you're thinking, all right, cool, I'm ready to start recording. But that's where I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Because if you were to record right now, all you would see is this black screen right here. That's because you haven't sent this image right here live. To do that, all you'd have to do is come here, click the arrow, and bam. Now you're in business. And say, like in the announcements, when we have multiple things going on, um, if you wanted to switch to a different thing, what you'd have to do is clear layer, clear layer, and then send that live to black. So it goes back to the black image. So say we just send the chairs, it's just the chairs. Click that, it's the full image again. But we hit clear layer on that, send live, and they disappear. That's a really nice thing about um, Wirecast makes it kind of nice. Now, if I'm correct, I already have my output settings set up so I could hit record and it would start recording. But you don't know how to set that up, so I'm going to help you. So you come up here to output, output settings, 
and then you can choose all sorts of ways to output this like you can go to twitch youtube all sorts of stuff but we're just going to record the disc mp4 it doesn't matter what you use and the encoding right here that's just the quality now i usually go default at 30 frames a second we could if we if we really wanted to go high quality we'd go 1080p at 60 but since our camera only records at 30 frames per second we're going to go at 30 frames per second and here is if we wanted to specify where we wanted the file to go we just go here and then you just choose bam and the auto increment here means that if I were to start recording after we get this all set up um, it would not be it you'd, you'd start a recording and you, as soon as you end it it would place the file the the file in the folder and it would be my stream underscore one or zero depending on how many you have and then if you were to do the same thing again with within the same time it would go my stream underscore two and it would just auto increment that way you can kind of organize your files so we're gonna hit okay and with that we're one step closer to starting but one thing i need to show you is how to set up your audio and you do that by clicking this little gear right here and change your audio now if you're using the condenser mics in the green screen room you would uh, select this because that's our soundboard if you're using the snowball like i am right now you'd click this but no matter what if you didn't want to use your uh, camera audio you'd have to select that and that would completely kill your audio as you can see before it was spiking just a little bit but now it's not it's still over here because I haven't sent it to live so it's still getting settings from before so if I were to do that they stop so now if I go change to here you're getting a live feed of your audio and if you do that try it over here now if you wanted to hear what you were doing while you were doing it, you'd click this button, but I don't want that right now, so I'm not going to. Um, if you didn't want any audio outputting at all, you could just turn your audio off or just hit this button. It's basically like a mute button. Um, thinking of what else, what else there is. Um, there is a pretty important focus on lights like if I want to go shut the lights off give me one second and I will you can see the big impact that lights have on green screen usage So, after I shut the lights off, you can tell that not only is it much darker, but the green screen isn't illuminated, so it's a different color, and it makes it harder to differentiate from the regular background. So, light is, lighting is pretty important. So, I guess I'll go turn the lights back on now. So, obviously lighting makes a big difference. But I think the last subject I'll talk about is the audio. Because right now you can hear me pretty well and I'm, I'm pretty sure that if I go in, sit in front of, sit in the camera that you see, that the condenser mics would pick me up and you'd hear me clearly. So, I think I'll go do that. Hopefully I show up just fine. And you'll see that the combination of green screen, I'll be a little fuzzy probably, the, the combination of green screen, 
audio and camera work. So, let me go sit in front of the camera. Hopefully I don't break it. As you can see, hopefully you see me, I'm not invisible, um, hopefully you can hear me, um, thanks to our condenser mics which are out of shot, um, you can't see the lights either but there's one bright light to my left, one in front of me, one to the right of me, two umbrella lights, and the overhead uh, lights above that are just in the room. All that culminating together to make this experience where you can basically put yourself anywhere in the world using the green screen and um, you can do your best to make a very professional uh, production using Wirecast. And with that I'll head back to the computer and I can show you how to save this that way if you want to use the, use this same setup next time it, it's ready to go and you don't have to go through the setup all again so let me go back to the computer one second please and I'm back again so to save all of this we go up to file uh, save as and you go up to where you want to save that way you know where it goes and you don't freak out I already saved a template earlier but we'll do it again because why not I'm gonna cheat to and you go ahead and press save and that should be everything I hope that our audio and everything is working just fine and I hope that my tutorial was informative and helped you learn how to use Wirecast um, thank you for watching have a good day